The Hawks team still not happy with some of the respect they've been given by the media around the nation, given last year's semi-final form. We had them ranked at seven entering this game. They're not happy with that. Their chance to prove us wrong here. We can keep up to date with the national rankings on Sunday. Basketball, McDonald won't be caught. Up on five minutes to play in the third. The game of the week, a tight one, as Perry goes for three. The former magician with the Southeast Melbourne Magic under Brian Gorge and a co captain in their 92 championship win. Drives a three there. Jason Smith met heavily by Thomas. He'll be off to the line to shoot two. Ronaldson, the skip pass for Jason Smith to Drimmick. Good fake. Saw an opening. Took it. Lands heavily. It was a big basket. About excitement when he's out there. Now Matthew Campbell. Former hometown product, the Ballarat Miners. Dalt draws foul with McDonald. No whistle. He gets the shooter's roll. Campbell. Guarded by McDonald. Thomas. Around Ronaldson. Ronaldson must be careful. Thomas banks at home. Well, Ronaldson Thomas goes to work like that. He's a tough one to stop. We've seen him do it numerous times this evening. And he's now up to 20 on 7 of 11 shooting. Leads all scorers. Margin is 7. Jason Smith and CJ Bruton. Coming up on a minute. Alley oh, how did Wheeler catch that? Let alone slam it down. What a spectacular play. How did Darrell McDonald see him? He was, he was there surrounded by a number of players in white, but he spotted him. He picked it up and seemed to find a second level, then threw it down. Sabota Thomas lost it. This last minute, a big momentum swing the way of Victoria. Especially if they can convert here. Let's quickly check this out. McDonald with the pass. Bang. Ronaldson playing with five. Shot clock at ten. Smith goes baseline, needs help. Kicks it on. Trimmick for three. Big play. Jason Smith spotted Drimmick there in the corner. Drimmick let it rip as he has done all season. Nothing but net that time again. Wollongong call for time. Titans leading by six. Three minutes gone by in the final quarter. Well, it's hard to walk through the foyer of the stadium here in Ballarat without seeing a familiar face smiling down upon you. That's Eric Cooks on the right and a very young Matthew Campbell on the left in the Ballarat Miners National CBA Championship team of 1995 coached by none other than yes Wollongong's current coach today Brendan Joyce what a remarkable team it was Joyce on the extreme left of that photo I wonder if they knew what their baths where their basketball paths would lead and would they lead to playing for Wollongong back on this court some four years later there he is Brendan Joyce two championships co coached in this building for the hometown Ballarat Miners they say basketball can lead you on many different paths can't they sure can and Brendan Joyce has gone up there to Wollongong and done a tremendous job making that one of the model franchises in the league Eric Cooks has played an outstanding role for them and we've seen Matthew Campbell over the last couple of seasons emerge as one of the premier backcourt defenders in the game. Yes, Eric Cooks, a 10-time All-Star, a couple of MVP awards. One of the greats of the CBA and Matty Campbell, the best you fancy, still to come. CJ Bruton couldn't make it, Thomas the rebound. Three minutes gone, six-point game. Back to Bruton, back to Thomas, trying to draw a sixth on Ronaldson. Ronaldson plays straight up. Thomas is going to score nine times out of ten over. Bruton gets around Drimmick, kicks it out for Munt, for Thomas, Mackay, Campbell. They must be respected from this range. Campbell trying to get by Jason Smith. Does great move. Yeah, once again, he saw the gap open up there. Matty Campbell decided to go all the way and finish that. Pulls it back to two. Beautiful lay-in. Four minutes gone by this quarter, 10 to three, Hawks. Victoria with just one score this term, that long range three. McDonald being guarded by Campbell.
Pepper got around Munt, does he? No, goes over the top, can't get it. Dremick, big tip it. Frank Dremick up to 15, delivering all five points this quarter for the Titans. Munt now with Pepper. Todd Munt, baby hook, Pepper blocked it. Thomas gets it. He's got 24. And once again, beautifully cleaned up by Melvin Thomas. We said right at the top of the game that Melvin Thomas had started out slowly, but right now he's up to 24 and looking dangerous every time he goes close to the basketball. Even when the plays are not diagrammed for him, he's scoring anyway. Jason Smith got open. That's for two. Back to a four-point game. Join us for that. For all the NBL news. Ronaldson, the handoff for Drimmick. Shot clock down to six. Victoria must go. Drimmick down the middle. The pull-up, the fake, the shot, the score. What a move from Frank Drimmick. Titans on a roll now. Would you believe they've scored the last 11? When the game was there to be won, they have delivered. Melvin Thomas, gallant for the Hawks. For Campbell, back to Thomas against Ronaldson. Shot clock down at 10, they throw it away. And the Titans are going to close out a pretty handy victory. Ronaldson played with five fouls for much of the last quarter. Savile with a late steal. It'll be a half-court bomb from CJ. No, they don't bother. Victoria. Close out a 13-point victory. And are now four wins and one loss for the season. 86-73 the final. When the game was there to be won, Victoria did the job. Let's check the numbers for you now. First of all, for the Wollongong Hawks, the home team, yes. Melvin Thomas with 26 points. Todd Munt with 16. CJ Bruton with 10 points. Munt with eight rebounds to go with that. Thomas with 71 points. While for the Victoria Titans, five scorers in double figures. Headed by Frank Drimmick with 17. Jason Smith with 16 and nine rebounds. Pepper with 15 and nine. McDonald and Wheeler with 12 points. And one of the key factors in Victoria's win, Frank Drimmick, gee, shooting the ball pretty well this season. Seven of eight from the field tonight for 17 points. Frank, congratulations. Hawks were tough today. Oh, they were tough. I mean, uh, you know, we, we've gone back with a long history, Titans, Hawks. And uh, last year, they, you know, they embarrassed us after having a 21-point advantage in the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, it's a tough stretch for us, three games in seven days. So, uh, you know, Brian's very happy. What about your own shooting form? We mentioned during last year, late in last season, the grand final series, perhaps struggling. You've come out really stroking it this season. What's behind that? Uh, you know, I, I had a good two months off and, uh, you know, pretty intense uh, pre-season. You know, I've just been practicing on my shot, you know, just getting back to basics and uh, we're enjoying, I'm enjoying playing and, you know, those shots are, are knocking down. You mentioned to us, or you mentioned to the media that you played three games in the ABA with Danny Nong during the off-season. Then you thought, what, you just didn't want to keep going wall-to-wall -wall basketball? Um, at that stage, I was a very frustrated young man. Uh, you know, I would have liked to, uh, you know, that's where I did my junior, uh, at, down at Danny Nong Rangers, but uh, I just thought it was, it was best for me to get away from the game and, uh, you know, get that love for the game and, you know, it's showing now. And what about coming back to grassroots for basketball? Are you enjoying it back here in, a, in the minor dome? Oh, I love it. Um, I, I remember a game here at the Institute. We had a, uh, a memorable victory over the minors. Well, it was a CBA then, but now it's the ABA. But, uh, yeah, it's a great gym, and uh, yeah, it's great for all the fans to get out here and watch uh, NBL basketball. We've had a terrific opening five games. Well done. Best of luck for the season oh, ahead. Thanks, Glenn. Thank you. Frank Drimmick there. What a game he had. 17 points on 7 of 8 shooting as the Titans win by 13. Andrew Johnston joins me once again. AJ, this was a very big win for Victoria, wasn't it? It was huge considering the fact they've gone out and won three in six days now, Clinton. So, big one coming in here tonight. It was expected that Wollongong would really give them a decent working over. Wollongong was strong for a big part of the game tonight, but Victoria coming.